the explain the rise of the Holy Roman Empire or the German states. The rest of Charlemagne's empire fell into a variety of states run by German nobles, such as Saxony. The date makes up Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, Czech Republic and Slovenia, as well as Austria, Croatia, Belgium and the Netherlands, as well as parts of Poland, France and Italy. The lands were ruled over by a series of counts and dukes. Over time, the dukes of Saxony began to gather more power and influence. Otto I was one of those dukes, and he declared himself King of Germany in 936. It would launch a long-term power struggle against the church that would carry on throughout the Reformation. At first, Otto was supported by the Pope. Otto I used his armies to fight the heretics and rebels in Italy. He put bishops in government jobs. The Pope rewarded him by crowning him Emperor of the German state. The kings who followed him began to call themselves the Holy Roman Emperors, because they believed they had the job of rebuilding the Roman Empire. The conflict between the Holy Roman Empire and the Church was fueled by the secular ambitions of the nobles. The Holy Roman Empire and others believed they were the guardians of the Church. Therefore, they should have control over the Church office appointments, especially since they gave the land. Even the Pope was being elected by the Emperor, and though some would try and end control of the nobles, it did not change much. Rulers like Henry III just ended up tossing reform-minded popes and installing new ones. It all changed when a monk named Eudebrand was confirmed as Gregory VII upon the death of Alexander II. As Pope, he was driven to create a separation of church and state and made a declaration to move the church away from secular influences. Simony was the practice of selling off religious positions, which rulers did because they built the church and they owned the land, so therefore they believed they should be in control of who benefits. Gregory VII declared the end of lay investiture to take away the appointment power from the kings. But also Gregory created the College of Cardinals to elect the Pope. This was done when Emperor Henry IV was six. But when he grew, he wanted the power back and appointed the Bishop of Milan. Gregory and Henry wrote back and forth in the heated lay investiture controversy until eventually he excommunicated Henry and told all his subjects they did not have to be loyal. This led to the Germanic peasant revolts. Emperor Henry would have to travel to the Pope and give penance, crown on the ground, barefoot, clothed in white. After three days, Gregory forgave his lost lamb, and Henry returned to show up the rebellion. When he was back in charge, however, he returned to his anger at the Pope, and was excommunicated another two times. The final excommunication led Henry to invade the city of Rome, sending Gregory into exile, and electing a new Pope. In 1122, the sides drafted a peace at Worms. The church for the point, the king gives land.